Shalom. Welcome back. Hallelujah. Amen. You ready to get back into the word of Yahweh? Hallelujah. We're going to continue in our series, Come Out of Babylon, Part 2. Amen. We left off in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, uh, verse 41. It reads, How is Shishak taken? And how is the praise of the whole earth surprised? And how is Babylon become an astonishment among the nations? Hallelujah. So the Most High is using Jeremiah, the prophet, to speak unto the children of Israel. The scriptures from Genesis to Revelation are written to the chosen people. So you have to understand that when you're studying the scriptures. It's not written to everyone and everybody. But because of religions, people think the scriptures is written to anybody and everybody. <laughs> and so they take the scriptures out of context to try to make it fit their religion. That's why this is this this study is relevant because all the religions are part of Babylon. So it says, How is Shishak taken? So Shishak was a kingdom and they brought in etymology etymology. And that's why a lot of these words have been changed around and uh, different meanings has been associated with different words. But the Most High knows about all this, and so he, it's not his concern. It's about context to the Most High. <laughs> and so they, they've done what they could do. But you got to understand why the Most High allowed it, because his people, us, have gone into captivity. And so he had to allow the word, the scriptures, to follow us into our captivity. And so the translators, the different nations ruling class, they manipulated it, but they didn't manipulate the context because most high wouldn't allow that, and they didn't know what they were doing. So they thought they were deceiving us, well, a little bit, but not, not much. The, the main thing that caused us to be deceived is our disobedience. And so the scriptures are the scriptures, and the context is the context, and it's written to the chosen people. But when we were brought into captivity, we lost our culture, heritage, identity, our birthright. We didn't know that we were the chosen people. And so that's why all these religions deceived us, because we think we're following the Most High, but we're actually following these religions. Christianity doesn't talk about the chosen people the, 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 as, as the children of Israel, nor does Judaism and uh, Hinduism and Buddhism and Seventh-day seven Adventists, <laughs> Islam. None of the religions talk about the children of Israel being the chosen people. And Judaism doesn't acknowledge the Messiah. <laughs> It's a religion. All religions are part of Babylon. So it says, how is Shishak taken? And how is the praise of the whole earth surprised? <laughs> because the Most High is standing back watching how everything is going down. How is Babylon becoming an astonishment among the nation? Because he's waking up his chosen people, giving us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the scriptures to know who we are to come out of Babylon. And that's what we must do. That's what we have to do. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. We can't just say, well, let me think about it. If you think about it, you're going to be destroyed with Babylon. Babylon has become an astonishment among the nations. Babylon is going to be destroyed. All the religious nations and kingdoms of Babylon will be destroyed. And if you're a part of it, you're going to be destroyed along with it. Judgment is being pronounced upon Babylon. It has been and is still being pronounced and it's about to be come to pass. <laughs> because Yahweh Shai, the Messiah of Israel, is soon to come. Hallelujah. So everything is imminent. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 42. The sea has come up upon Babylon. She is covered with the multitude of waves thereof. And so Babylon is going to be destroyed. 
And the Most High is going to do whatever it takes to destroy Babylon. It says that it's going to be covered with a multitude of ways. If you're following social media, anything that's trending, because the regular news cast, they're not going to talk about really what's going on because they have an agenda and they're going to stick to their script. But the regular, the, the social media, those that are independent, they're going to tell you anything and everything. And so it's been reported that there's something going on in the oceans, in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> that's moving toward the direction of Babylon, the United States of America. And <laughs> call them waves, the multitudes of waves. So... The scriptures will be fulfilled. All the prophecies in the scriptures will be fulfilled. So the Most High is saying the sea has come up upon Babylon. The sea is coming up upon Babylon. All the different religions, all the nations, the religious nations. Babylon is going to be destroyed. It has a, 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 a pyramid uh, rulership. The United Nations. All that stuff is in New York. <laughs> in in the, the Vatican in, in Rome. But most I know about it all. And so all of these are connected. All, all the world religions and nations, they're connected in, in Babylon, in a religious nation. And so they're going to be destroyed. This It says she is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. The most high is going to bring destruction Upon Babylon, upon all these religious nations. When Yahweh shall return, he's coming to take over the whole earth. And all these different religions have to be destroyed. And so that's what's getting ready to happen. Jeremiah 51 and 43. Her cities are desolation, a dry land, and a wilderness, and a land wherein no man dwelleth. Neither doeth any son, neither doeth any son of man pass thereby. And so this prophecy will be fulfilled. And it's going to be fulfilled. And there's nothing anyone, anywhere, anybody can do anything about it. They can't stop it. All the ruling class nations and people, they can't prevent the scriptures of the Most High, the prophecies of the Most High from being fulfilled. He says her cities are desolation. All the cities of Babylon. I told you it's a multi-dimensional hierarchy. <laughs> Different locations, places, people. It's all connected. All the cities of Babylon. It doesn't matter if it's in Rome, Vatican. It doesn't matter if it's in America, uh, New York, or London, England. They're going to be destroyed. All the, the, the religious nation, the ruling class nation, it's going to be a dry land and a wilderness, a land wherein no man dwelleth, neither doeth any son of man pass thereby. It's going to be a wonder. People are going like, to wonder what happened. <laughs> if you read the scriptures, you'll know what's going to happen. But the religions don't tell you about this, so people don't think about it. They don't read the prophets. <laughs> they don't understand the prophets. It's for Israel, to Israel, and about the children of Israel because the Most High is going to deliver us out of these Babylonian captivities. This Babylonian religious nation who have brought us into captivity. And so that's why the New Testament and the Old Testament go hand in hand. You can't just Read the New Testament to understand the scriptures. If you don't understand the Old Testament, then you don't understand the New Testament. If you don't understand the New Testament, then you don't understand the Old Testament. Because they go hand in hand. <laughs> it's written in context. It's about the chosen people. So you got to know who the chosen people are to understand the scriptures. That's why it's vitally important. And so he says, a land wherein no man dwelleth, neither doeth any son of man pass thereby. It's going to be a desolation. All the cities are a desolation. 
It's going to be a wilderness. <laughs> Empty land. Nobody is going to dwell there. The Most High is going to cause that to happen. It's going to be an astonishment throughout all time. People are going to know what will happen. Because <laughs> the Most High is going to put his stamp on what happened. And everybody is going to know. It ain't going to be a secret. Babylon shall be destroyed. And everybody in Babylon is going to be destroyed. All these different nations and cities and religious organizations. Jeremiah 51 verse 44. And I will punish Baal in Babylon. And I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he had swallow up, swallowed up. And the nation shall not flow together any more unto him. Yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall. Hallelujah. <laughs> so the Most High is revealing all this to the prophet Jeremiah about Babylon and Baal. It, when you read in, in the book of Revelation, it's, it's talking about the same thing. The Antichrist, the beast, all of them. They're, they're Babylon, the religious nation, the beast, the devil, Satan, the dragon, want to be worshipped. That's what Babylon is all about. That's what Baal is all about. Devil worship. He says, I will punish Baal in Babylon. I'm, I'm going to punish the devil. I'm going to punish Satan, the Antichrist, the beast system. And I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he had swallowed up. All of the children of Israel that's been being deceived and has been deceived. We've been swallowed up by all these different religions. And we're still being swallowed up to this day. But the Most High is patient. He's, he's warning his people. To pay attention. Listen. <laughs> From Jeremiah unto now. I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he had swallowed up. All of the children of Israel. He's telling us to come out of Babylon, and the nations shall not flow together any more unto him. Yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall. And so the Most High is going to ensure that these nations never rise and stand again. They're going to fall. <laughs> They're not going to flow together anymore. They're not going to be connected. Every iota, every where Babylon is standing is going to be fall. Where, whatever landmass it's on, where, wherever it is located. <laughs> in America, South America, Africa, Asia, India, you name it. Babylon will be destroyed. All the religious kingdoms. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. <laughs> Yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall. The Most High, Yahweh Shai, when he returns, he's going to destroy all of the kingdoms of Babylon. Amen. Jeremiah 51, verse 45. My people, go ye out of the midst of her, and deliver every man his soul from the fierce anger of Yahweh, the Most High. Hallelujah. The Most High is warning all of the 12 tribes of Israel that are scattered abroad to come out of Babylon. He said, my people. That's who he's talking about. All of the 12 tribes of Israel who are scattered. He says, go ye out of the midst of her. Go ye out of the midst of all these different religions. <laughs> all these Babylonian religions. All these 501c3 corporations. <laughs> And deliver every man his soul from the fierce anger of Yahweh. That's the only way you're going to be delivered. You got to come out of these different religions. These re different religions has a stronghold on the children of Israel. And we're stiff-necked and hard-hearted and disobedient. And if you stay stiff-necked, hard-hearted and disobedient, you're going to stay in Babylon and you're going to be destroyed with Babylon. I'm telling you what these religious organizations are about. They're Babylon. They're, they're worshiping Satan. They're worshiping the devil. They're worshiping the Antichrist. All these 501c3 corporations, they're an entity of the state. They're an instrument of the state. So you are under their control. You're in covenant with the state. The state is Babylon. 
all the nation state, all the countries, all the governments, everything is connected to Babylon. All the governments, all the nations, all the ambassadors and prime ministers and presidents and kings, they're all connected to Babylon. They all will be destroyed. He said, my people, go ye out of the midst of her and deliver every man his soul. If you want to be delivered, you better come out of these religions. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 51, verse 46. And least your heart faint, and ye fear for the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall be both come one year, and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. <laughs> the Most High ain't hiding anything. He's putting it out in the open. And he's telling us, his chosen people, exactly what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen. <laughs> he said, at least, at, least, at, least, at least your heart faint, and you fear for the rumor. So he's telling, you, telling us, look, I'm telling you what's going to happen. I'm giving you a fair chance, fair warning to come out. Because once these rumors started, and your heart started to faint, at least your heart faint and you fear for the rumors that shall be heard in the land. It's going to be too late. Because you're being warned right now. <laughs> a rumor shall both come in one year, and after that another year shall come a rumor. <laughs> and violence in the land and ruler against ruler. The Most High, is, he's patient, he's long-suffering. And it's desired that none of the children of Israel shall perish. But he already said only a few of us are going to be saved. <laughs> only a remnant. Because most of us are stiff-necked and hard-hearted. We won't listen. We're going to stay in Babylon. Because we're comfortable, comfortable. <clears throat> and we like Babylon. Babylon has been good to some of us. Some of us has prospered and rich and got houses and lands and cars and you name it. And so we don't want to give, up, give that up. We got our best life now in Babylon. And so those are the people that's going to be destroyed when Babylon is destroyed. Yahweh Shai said you can't serve Yahweh and money. Babylon is money. The riches of this world. And so that's what has a lot of us deceived. The money of Babylon. Thinking this is it. There ain't nothing after this. So get it. Now get why the goodness is good. Get all you can get. Get rich now. And, and stay rich. Get rich quick. And so all of the 12 tribes of Israel, we've been deceived by Babylon. And so the rumors are coming. A rumor shall both come one year, and after that, in another year, shall come a rumor and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. And so by the time you hear about these ru these rumors and this violence that's coming upon the land, it's going to be too late to come out because this is your opportunity. This is your day of repentance. <laughs> this is the day of the Most High. When you hear the voice of the Most High, harden not your heart. But we're stiff-necked, hard-hearted people. We love Babylon. We love money. We love it of money. We don't love the Most High. We put, we cherish money above the Most High. The scripture says you should have no other ruler or master before you other than the Most High, Yahweh. But we put everything and anything else before the Most High. And we think we're serving Most High in Babylon. We're deceived. It's a strong delusion. Babylon is a strong delusion. All these different religions. Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, Judaism. They're a strong delusion. We've been deluded. You better wake up and smell the coffee. 
Because once these rumors and everything start happening, it's going to be too late. And the Most High, you ain't going to have no more. He's not going to have any more pity and mercy after that. The mercy is now. The, the, the pity is now. The patience is now. But it's going to come to an end quick, fast, and in a hurry. You think you have all the time in the world. You don't. You don't even have tomorrow. <sighs> Jeremiah 51, verse 47. Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven image of Babylon, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Hallelujah. The Most High ain't playing. <clears throat> And that judgment is going to be with fire and brimstone. He said, behold, the days come. It's knocking at the door. It's imminent. <laughs> It'll be here before you know it. You going out partying and, and just living your best life now? That I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon. Wearing these gold necklaces and crosses around your neck and <laughs> you thinking you all that. And the whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. Everyone that's loving Babylon is going to fall in the midst of her. And a lot of the children of Israel is going to be among the slain. Because we don't listen. We don't pay attention. We're caught up in all these different religions. We're caught up in fame and fortune. <laughs> We're still eating from that tree of life of good and evil. I mean, excuse me, eating from the tree of knowledge of, the, uh, of good and evil. Being deceived by the devil. And so we're going to be slain with, with the rest of the world that's in Babylon. That's why it's written for our admonishment so that we can understand. <laughs> the Most High has given us every opportunity to repent. And so that's why he won't have, be able to have any mercy. Because this is your opportunity right now to get right and stay right. And so when he comes back, your name will be blotted out of the book of life. There won't be no mercy for you. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 51 verse 48. Then the heaven and the earth and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon. For the spoilers shall come unto her from the north, says Yahweh. So the Most High is going to bring all of his ammunition and power and weapons, everything at his disposal against Babylon. He said the heaven and the earth and all that is therein. <laughs> You know, thing for Babylon, they're going to come back like a whirlwind upon Babylon. For the spoilers shall come unto her from the north, <laughs> said Yahweh. And so the, the ruling class people already know they're going to be destroyed. Babylon already knows she's going to be destroyed. Yet and still, she's going to still try to stand and fight. Even though she, that's just stupidity <laughs> you know you're going to be destroyed but you're going to still try to fight but they don't have any choice that's it's like pharaoh pharaoh thought he could fight against the most high <laughs> he's put it in their heart to act like that and so he's going to cause the spoiler the destroyers that shall come unto her from the north uh, unto babylon and so they know that they're going to be destroyed the problem is the children of Israel that's in the midst of Babylon, we don't know who we are. And that's the tragedy. The Most High is <laughs> he's doing everything in it can to shake us and wake us up. But you got to you gotta do something. You got to repent. You got to seek the face of the Most High. If you think I'm lying, go seek the scriptures and tell me where I'm lying. The Most High will wake you up. You got to seek His face. But a lot of y'all think y'all doing what's right. Like the Apostle Paul. He thought he was doing what was right when he was persecuting us. 
for following Yahweh Shai. <laughs> so Yahweh Shai appeared to him and like, hey, what you doing? <laughs> and, and some of y'all like that. You know, you think you're doing what's right. All these so-called pastors, preachers, and teachers of the Antichrist church system. The problem is you're in Babylon, and you're caught up in these Babylonian religions, and you're preaching what you think is the gospel of the kingdom, but you're not preaching about the children of Israel. <laughs> you're preaching about your religion. That's what you're preaching. That's why it, everything that you say and, and do is in vain. It's not going to stand. Your works are in vain. So you're being destroyed. And all the people that you're preaching to, all of the 12 tribes of Israel that you're preaching to will be destroyed. If the blind lead the blind, they're both going to fall into the ditch. And so all these preachers, the, the, the scriptures warn you about these pastors, these lying pastors and preachers and teachers that lead the children of Israel astray. And that's Babylon. And that's what you're doing. But y'all love that money. Y'all love that, that, that tithe and that offering. So y'all going to keep doing what you're doing. But you're going to have hell to pay. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 51 and 49. As Babylon has caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. So Babylon is responsible for Israel being deceived and being slain. It, it made everything they had look appealing. The best life now. That's why everybody and all these different nations and countries around the world want to come here to this country called America, which is Babylon. They're they looking for that American dream, that, a Babylon dream. <laughs> Their best life now. They want to come here and prosper and be rich. The land of opportunity is open to everybody, except the children of Israel. <laughs> it's not open to us. Some of us think we done arrived and we equal to everybody else. You deceive. As Babylon has caused the slain of Israel to fall. All of the children of Israel have fallen to Babylon. But the Most High is waking us up. He already prophesied that we would wake up while we're here. And so a lot of us are waking up. He's bringing breath and knowledge and the spirit of, of Yahweh back to life in us. So that we can know who we are. That's why the scripture is only written to us, for us, and about us. It's not written to anybody and everybody else. Anybody and everybody else has taken the scriptures out of context to try to make the scriptures apply to them, but it does not. So in Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. Everybody that's in Babylon shall be destroyed. All the nations and peoples and kingdoms and governments and prime ministers and presidents and kings and queens and princes, you're all going to be destroyed. Your judgment, your your court system, your politicians, you name it, it's going to be destroyed. That All of it is Babylon. All of it is wicked. Wickedness. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 51 and 50. Ye that have escaped the sword, go away. Stand not still. Remember Yahweh afar off and let Jerusalem come into your mind. Hallelujah. So the Most High is calling unto his people. He said the ones that, of us that have escaped, that have come into the knowledge of the truth about who we are, is to go away and stand not still. Cry loud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Show my people Israel their sin. Hallelujah. Remember your hour of far off. <laughs> And so we're coming into the knowledge of the truth about who we is, that who we are. That's why we're standing here on land, on the street, anywhere and everywhere, trying to warn the children of Israel to to remember the Most High, to repent, let Jerusalem come into your mind. We're the chosen people. We're the children of Jerusalem. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to remember that. You got to know that. You got to understand it. You got to believe it. You got to receive it. Hallelujah. We are the children of Yisrael. Those people over in the land that's doing all that fighting, they're not the chosen people, but people believe that they are. As long as you believe that they are, you're going to stay deceived. As long as you believe that the people over in the land called the nation state of Israel, you believe they're the chosen people, you are going to be deceived. The Most High is trying to wake up his people. He's doing anything and everything in his power to do that. That's why he got us out here teaching and preaching and telling you who Israel is. He said, remember Yahweh far off and let Jerusalem come into your mind. You got to remember that who you are. Go reread and restudy the scriptures. The Most High give you understanding. Jeremiah 51 and 51. We are confounded because we have heard reproach. Shame have covered our faces. For strangers are coming to the sanctuary of the of Yahweh, of Yahweh's house. Hallelujah. And so that's why we're confused. Because we don't know who we are. And we and, and we're confounded. Because they've told us, oh, those people over there in the land, that's Israel. Those are the chosen people. And we didn't know any better because we're in these 501c3 corporations. And these 501c3 corporations are the ones that's telling us, yeah, those are the chosen people over in Israel. So we believed it because we have heard reproach. And, and, and they said, well, they don't believe that Yahweh Shai is the Messiah. And so Yahweh Shai is only coming back for the Christians. Well, Yahweh is only coming for Islam or whatever religion you are, you're in. And so they they exalt their religions. That's blasphemy. <laughs> but that's what they do. That's what all these religions do. They, they discount the children of Yisrael. And Judaism discount the Messiah. And so all of it is Babylon. Shame has covered our faces. And so we don't, when we're in these religions, we don't know who we are. We think we Gentiles just like everybody else that not Israel. <laughs> just deceived because we don't understand the scriptures. We don't know who the scriptures are written to, for, and about. The scriptures are not written to anybody and everybody, but that's what the religions have told us and taught us. For strangers are coming to the sanctuaries of, the, of, of Yahweh's house. All these people that's so-called preachers, pastors, and teachers in these 501c3 corporations, that's not Israel. They've come into the sanctuary, and they're teaching the children of Israel how to serve the Most High. They don't know the Most High. How can they teach us how to serve the Most High? But that's what's going on. That's why we're deceived, because we're listening to the wrong people. Hallelujah. The Most High is breaking it down so even a child can understand. That's why he said we have to humble ourselves like a child. Hallelujah. All of the 12 tribes of Israel. The Most High is trying to save his people. He loves us. He's doing everything that he can. But we have to believe the gospel of the kingdom. He can't force us to believe. Jeremiah 51 and 52. Wherefore, behold, the days come, said Yahweh, that I will do judgment upon her graven image, and through all her land the wounded shall groan. Hallelujah. So the Most High is telling us this is what's going to happen. He said the days are going to come, and I'm going to do judgment upon Babylon, all her graven images, and everybody going to know. Now the scripture says that we're in the land of our captivity. We're in Egypt again. Babylon is Egypt. Egypt is Babylon. It's one and the same. We're in the land of our captivity. All these graven images represent the religions. And through all her land, the wounded shall groan. 
He's going to do judgment on all these religions. And we're caught up in it. And so that's why he's telling us, look, y'all don't have a lot of time. <laughs> Did no man know the day or the hour? <laughs> he's coming back quicker than you can think. In the, in the blinking of an eye, when he cracked them sky, he said, all her land, all the wounded shall groan. They're going to say, oh, this is it. But it's going to be too late. When them skies open, it's going to be too late. What you going to do? It's too late to repent and try. Oh, uh, Lord, save me. It's too late. In all her land, the wound, the wounded shall groan. They're going to be groaning and moaning and complaining. Lord, have mercy. Father, save me. Forgive me. It's too late. You think the Most High is playing? He ain't playing. Go ahead and keep hanging out in these religions. You can't say you didn't know. You ain't going to be able to say that. Jeremiah 51, 53. Is that where we at? Yeah. Jeremiah 51 and 53. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven, and though she should fortify the height of her strength, yet from me shall spoilers come unto her, says the Most High. Says the Most High, Yahweh. So Babylon gonna fight. <laughs> they already know what's gonna happen. They've already prepared their battle plan. They know that the Yahweh is coming. <laughs> though Babylon shall mount up to heaven, uh, we're gonna we're gonna shoot them out the sky. We got we got nuclear weapons. <laughs> We got atomic bombs. We got everything. We gonna, if he try to come and take the land, we're going to kill him <laughs> again for good. No, you're not. They know they can't win. But they stupid. They're going to try to fight anyway. And though she shall fortify the height of her strength, yet from me shall spoilers come unto her, says she how. <laughs> They're going to try to fight a losing battle. It's already been prophesied. It's, the Most High has already seen it. It's a done deal. There is no way they can win. It's a firmament. The earth is, 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 is what they call flat. It's not a spinning ball. It's not a spinning globe. It's not a planet. They can only go so far. He says, shall mount up to the heaven. <laughs> there ain't no outer space. They ain't never been to the moon. They've been lying. Everything they've done is a lie. In us, the children of Israel, because we caught up in all these different religions, we're deceived. Because we want to trust in Babylon instead of trusting in the Most High. And though she, she, she fortified the height of her strength, yet from me shall spoilers come unto her, says Yahweh. So they're going to do everything they can to fight against the Most High when he returns, when, when Yahweh shall crack the sky. Because they know he's coming. And they know there ain't no mercy for them. They know they're going to be destroyed. So they're going to do the only thing that they can do. And that's try to fight back. <laughs> Even though they know they're going to lose. But in their heart, in their mind, they think they can beat the most high. He ain't going to stop us. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's going to laugh. Hallelujah. But the sad part is, us, the children of Israel that's caught up in it, oh, hell ain't going to be pretty. You're going to wish you had a listen. Jeremiah 51, 54. A sound of a cry cometh from Babylon and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans. So that's what's going to happen when you have a shot comes. Oh, it's going to be a cry. It's going to be so loud. He said, a sound of a cry coming from Babylon. They're going to be moaning and groaning and crying and pleading and trying to pray. Lord, have mercy. Father, have mercy. <clears throat> Call on all your different religions. Call on Christianity. Call on Islam. 
Call on Judaism and Buddhism and Hindu. Call on your religion to save you. And see if it saves you from the land of the Chaldeans. From all these lands of Babylon. All these nations of Babylon. See if your religions will save you. Speaking to the children of Israel that's caught up in all these different religions. You're going to be crying out from Babylon. Because the Most High has warned you, but you didn't want to listen. And so it's sad. It's, it, it's, the Most High doesn't have any pleasure in destroying his own people. But because you don't want to listen, he don't have any choice. You tie his hand. He can't save you if you don't want to be saved. <laughs> you don't want to be saved? Okay, fine. You'll be destroyed with them then. And so that's how the Most High is. He's already begged and pleaded with you. But the begging and pleading is about to end. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 51 and 55. Because Yahweh had spoiled Babylon and destroyed all of her, the great voices. When her waves do roar like great waters. A noise of their voice is uttered. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so the Most High is describing what it's going to be like when he come and destroy Babylon. <laughs> he said, because Yahweh had spoiled Babylon and destroyed out of her the great voices. All of the ruling class people, all the entertainers, the, the, the sports people, <laughs> the comedians. Everybody, all the people that's rich and famous, the great voices. Everybody that's loving Babylon, all the medias, the social medias, everybody on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and whatever, TikTok, all the people that's getting rich. <laughs> All the great voices. Every, everybody listen to everybody, but don't want nobody, nobody want to listen to the Most High. Speaking specifically to the children of Israel, we listen to anybody and everybody. Tell us how to get rich, how to get heal ourselves, and buy this and buy that, and be 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 all you can be. Buy land and buy houses and flip the house and become rich. We listen to all this stupid stuff, all these different religions. It's about me, 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 me. All these great voices, all these so-called pastors, mega pastors and preachers and teachers that's getting rich off of you. When her waves do roar like a great water, the noise of their voice is uttered. <laughs> oh, it's going to be too late. They can cry all they want and moan and groan all they want. But... It's too late. And so the Most High is warning the children of Israel, don't wait too late. You wait too late, it's going to be too late. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 46. Jeremiah 51 and 56. Because the spoilers is come upon her, even upon Babylon, and her mighty men are taken, everyone of their bowls is broken. But Yahweh, the Elohim of, of recompense, shall surely requite. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So the Most High is saying, look, I've warned them, I've told them, talking to Israel through Jeremiah, I, let them know, look, this is what's going to happen. So he's made it plain. He told us exactly what's going to happen. The spoilers is going to come upon her, even on Babylon. The mighty men are taken. Every one of their bowls are broken. Babylon don't have a chance in hell to stand. It's going to be completely de annihilated, destroyed. For Yahweh, Elohim of, of recompense, shall surely requite. For all, it, all it, the atrocities that they've committed upon the children of Israel, it's recompense time. <laughs> Everything they've done to us is going to be done to them. The Most High already told them what was going to happen. They already know. But it's, it's us that's in captivity that don't even 
want to recognize that we're still in the land of our captivity. We want to still preach all these different Babylonian religions, Christianity and Catholicism and Judaism and Islam and Hinduism and Buddhism, all these different religions. But recompense is going to be required upon all these Babylonian nations. Her mighty men are taken. They won't be able to stand. Hallelujah. Babylon is not going to be able to protect you or itself. It's not. Anybody that's in Babylon is going to be destroyed. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 51 verse 57. And I will make drunk her princesses and her wise men, her captains and her rulers, and her mighty men, and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep, and not wake, said the king, whose name is Yahweh of hosts. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so, Yahweh, uh, just write everything I tell you, Jeremiah, just write down. Let them know exactly what I'm going to do, how am I going to do it, when I'm going to do it. They ain't going to have no excuse. I'm going to make them drunk. They want to drink, I'm going to give them so much, whatever they want to drink. It's on me. It's on the house. <laughs> Let them drink till they can't drink no more. All the wise men, the princes, the captains, the rulers, the mighty men, everybody. Everybody that's in authority and power. Come, It's a feast. Get crunk, get drunk, drink all you want. <laughs> ah. And they can share sleep, a perpetual sleep. After this drunkness, ain't going to be no hangover. They're going to wake up in hell. <laughs> a perpetual sleep. They're going to wake up in hell. A living hell. Like, when, when, when am I going to wake up? You're already awake. You're awake in hell. <laughs> How do I get out? Ain't no getting out. <laughs> and not wake. That, that's it. I must be dreaming. No, you're, you're awake. You're, in, you're awake in hell. <laughs> because, and he's talking mainly to the children of Israel. Remember the story of Lazarus and the rich man, and the rich man woke up in hell, lifted his eyes in hell. Yeah, hey, hey, how did I get in here? <laughs> hey, 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 Father Abraham, can you let Lazarus touch his finger in the, in the pool? The, to cool off my tongue. I'm, I'm in torment in these flames. <laughs> yeah, no, nope, we can't do that. that. We can't come over there. You can't come over here. But we'll send somebody back to warn to warn my brothers because I don't want them to come into this place. Well, he said they got the law and the prophets talking to Israel. You got the law and the prophets, Israel. But no, no, if somebody came back from the dead, they, they would listen. No. Abraham said, no, if they, if they won't listen to Moses, the law and the prophets, even if somebody came from the dead, they ain't going to listen. And that's how it is. Yahweh Shai came and rose, gave his life for Israel, for Israel, for Israel, because you think he, he gave his life for everybody else. But you don't want to listen because you're caught up in your religion. Your religion said, yeah, he, he came and gave his life for everybody. Your Christianity and your Catholicism and all these other religions. <laughs> Israel is deceived. We don't want to listen. We don't want to pay attention. And they should sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake, says the king, whose name is Yahweh, the host. He's Yahweh of Israel. And he's coming back for his chosen people. But we don't want to, a lot of us don't want to believe that we are the chosen people. That we are the children of Israel. We rather believe that we black. <laughs> we African American. Or we whatever part of land we're in. We want to believe that's who we are. We don't even want to acknowledge ourselves as the chosen people. And that's the, that's the, what's bad about it, what's sad about it, because you don't want to acknowledge your birthright. And that's how the children of Israel are. We, we're stiff-necked, hard-hearted people. We won't listen. 
We're stubborn. We're ignorant. I will not have you ignorant, brethren. Hallelujah. But the Most High, He's doing all He can to save His people. But He already told us only a remnant is going to be to be saved. Only a remnant is going to believe. Hallelujah. Even though we're as the sand of the sea. Hallelujah. Well, thank you for listening. See you next time. We'll pick it up, the rest of the scriptures in the next lesson. Shalom.